Hey there, my name is Adam. I have a brand new tutorial for you today, and this is gonna be talking about replacing people in your images. Uh, this is a relatively short tutorial. However, it is a little bit more complicated and requires a little bit of a foundational understanding of layers. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking someone out of one image, uh, sort of smart erasing them out of an image, and then uh, making a selection of another person in an external image, and then homogenizing the two, so putting them both together to create a, a composition image as the end result. We're going to remove this subject, make a selection of this subject, and then combine them. Let's go through the steps. In our first image, we need to smart erase this guy right here. To do this, we will use the Smart Erase tool from the toolbar. I want you to do your best to select the whole subject in one go. It'll take a second to do this. Next, we should do a bit of a cleanup. I'll open the Repair tool. I'll select the Blended Clone tool. Use the Blended Clone tool to select a part that you like, and then just click on the faint outline of the man we just removed. This will replace uh, that part with the part that you liked and do its best to blend them together. I'll take a second to do this as well. Nice. Okay, with that out of the way, I'll save my image as an ACDC file. Next, we need to open our replacement subject. This man will be our replacement for the one we removed in the previous image. We need to select him, and to do this, I'll use a combination of the brush selection tool and the polygonal selection tool. Those selection tools can be found on the top menu bar. Just as a note, if you're using the brush selection tool, have it set to the magic setting, and this will help you make your selection. Take your time with your selections. When moving between selection methods, make sure that you have the add to polygonal selection or the plus icon selected. This will add your current selection to any new ones that you make instead of replacing them. Also, I really recommend navigating to select and overlay options. I always use selection highlighted over marching ants. It's a bit easier for me to see what I've selected. Okay, now to shorten this video, I'm going to load a pre-made selection. With our selection now made, let's click the mask button located beneath the layer panel. From here, we will save this file as an ACDC file. Let's navigate back to our image with the subject removed. We now need to load our new subject onto the layer panel. To do this, click add a new file as a layer. We will load and size our new subject. To resize a new layer, click the yellow bounding box. I'll place him here. Let's add a slight blur adjustment to our subject. Uh, blurring our new subject helps contextualize him in the field of view. Uh, this also might not be necessary in your image. I'll make sure to click the little diamond icon next to the blur adjustment layer. This diamond will clip the effect to the image layer that appears beneath it. Without this icon clicked, the blur effect will affect all image layers that appears beneath them which in this case is not the desired outcome. We just want this blur of, to affect our new subject. Okay, now what we want to do is hide our subject behind the woman's hair and back. To do this, we need to make another selection. I'll click my first layer, this is important. I'll hide the other layers. I'm just gonna make a quick magic brush selection of her back and hair. This selection can be quick and dirty, no need to select her whole body. Once that is done, copy and paste this selection. You will notice a new layer appear on the layer panel. Move this layer above the subject that you added. This will help make uh, our image make visual sense. I'm going to make one more copy from our base image and that's just a bit of sand so that I can cover his right foot a little. Same thing, copy and paste from the base image, remember that's important, and then rearrange it above our subject. 
Very last thing I'll do is apply a little photo effect to help homogenize our whole image. I will not clip this layer. I'll make sure that it applies to all the layers beneath it. And importantly, this photo effect needs to appear at the top of our layer order. Click photo effect from the adjustment layer menu and just choose whichever one appeals to you. Uh, I might lower the opacity. And uh, here's a before and after. Please like this video. Subscribe and click the bell icon. Most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care. Thank you.